I'm Parker. I'm a mechanical engineer and I'm a senior. I'm Peter, I'm a electrical engineer. Uh, junior. Uh, I'm Paloma. I'm a biology uh, major, a uh, freshman. And we are missing T. Yeah. Yeah, one of our teammates um, had a concussion, so she's, we really missed her too. We were like, we really could have used her the last few days. To, uh, and she's going to be fine, but she has yeah. to be out of commission for a yeah. few days. So this, this pitch bend bar is kind of the, the core. Um, so we made a keyboard. We have volume of the keyboard here. This controls the LFO rate. So however fast the wheel is spinning. These are the root note of the chord, and this is the chord quality. That's a nice sound coming in there. Right. We 3D printed all the keys, I forgot to say that. That was fun. And then the best thing of all... Here, um, yeah, this controls the speed that the chords are going at. We have other uh, voices as well. Um, so there's four groupings of a lead and chord sound, and then we have three drum samples. So if you push here, you're getting pitch bends. If you push here, you're getting um, filter frequency. We have drum volume here. All the levels are here, which is really nice. You can kind of mix. Yeah, so 20 minutes ago, this drawer did like nice reverb sound, and this drawer did like a cool delay effect. How fast the things are spinning, we, we put uh, magnets around the rim of each wheel. And there's a little reed switch, which is basically just like two ends of a switch and a little metal ball. And when a magnet goes by, it pulls it in. Um, so we had to, we just converted like clicks per second to a rate and then turn that into an LFO rate. For the drawers, there's an IR sensor on the back, which is a distance sensor, which is the same thing those guys use. We had an FSR. And then I came in this morning and it was a linear pod. So. so this is doing filter frequency. If you don't press on it, then we just have it do pitch bend. So these slide things here, um, this is the same thing we're using to control the pitch bend, except it's just hooked up with a lever onto the end of this. This part yeah. is attached here to this wooden part. So when you pull it down, it pulls it up. So no, really. Yeah, it's working now. Um, yeah, so that's doing that up and down. This is the changes the drum sample, and then this changes the voices of the um, the chords in the lead. So you can. <laughs> the whole purpose behind our instrument was to make something that's really big and easy to play with. Um, so like there's a lot of feedback for whatever kind of gesture you want to do. So, okay, sorry. The next patch is pretty simple. I added a quick patch that cycles through uh, channels in Reason. So I have four Channels one through four are for chords, and channels five through eight are for lead. If you press the button, it just uh, 
increases the yeah, channel. Yeah, so we have level, four. There's four different out. noises, basically. We spent a lot of time on like the hardware, and I think I kind of underestimated how much um, time it takes to actually code it to sound good. Like, so once you have like reliable hardware, it doesn't mean you're done. Like, you still need to spend um, a lot of time like wrestling with Max, and, and even just because everything's working in Max, like just going from Max to Reason. Like, it's so much harder than it looks like. One of the really simple things that we wanted to do, but just ran out of time today, uh, was matching the tempo of the drum samples to whatever the tempo, uh, yeah. the rate you're going at with the chord wheel was. This goes like really fast to like really slow, which is good for chords, but if you're playing a drum sample this, this, like that fast, and then that slow, like, at those high ends, it's just going to sound like gibberish, like, you're not, so, like, I don't know, it was kind of hard to do. We had an idea where, uh, if you pulled out the drawer, it would change the mix of the drum track. You know, like, the classic thing you hear in a song where it's like this, and then it goes, you pull out the drawer, and it's like... And then you slam it. And then it goes <laughs>